What is up you guys? It's me, Amber Jane or Amber Jane TV. Sorry if I mind me my PJs, but I really don't care as much. But 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 Baby Sixteen shift is over. I got a new shift since this morning. I'm starting to work in McDonald's for for the time being while I get my life sorted, really. And yeah, and earn some cash. So, okay, so I'm gonna have, I have life now, work, so I have a job now, well it's not exactly a job, it is a job, but at the moment it's a trial training, so I'm in a trial, so yeah, that is all, with that apart, we are going to review again, another review, um, I might be doing, and also, good news guys, I uh, might be doing more reactions, so, it's gonna be in a new system since my mom bought bought a uh, a tablet. So now I downloaded an app called Reactor TV. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of reactions, like reaction to teasers, reaction to trailers for certain movies based on manga or anime, or could we do some reaction of live reactions on? certain animes you want me to react to so please comment down below which one you want me to do on reactor tv or you want to, yeah and k-pop obviously k-pop or j-pop either way are more than welcome to do it anyways okay this is another review a k-pop review on stellar okay stellar 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 i really love the marionette song i know some people find it Although the dance is a bit weird, but with that said, the song was catchy, the song was brilliant, and yeah. Excuse me, wait, the song was coming up. False alarm. Right, so this year they came back. I have to stop because I always hear sound. Yeah, Uma! Okay, sorry, um, excuse me, I always get interrupted by sounds, I get distracted. Anyways, uh, they came back with a new song called Vibrato. Vibrato, it sounds so posh. <laughs> it sounds so weird, but the way I say it, obviously because I'm American would say it differently. And when it comes to British people, since I am British because I was born here and grew up and bought been raised in the UK it's just the way I sound it sounds when it comes to English words and American words the way we pronounce some words is same word but just pronounced differently so okay with that said vibrato it's one of the sexiest MV by far yes don't get me wrong, I know Sister is known to be sexy, so it's Girls Day and AOA. So Stella is the other sexy, oh no, there's Brown Eyes Boys. I always forget Brown Eyes Girls, they're also the one of them too. But when it comes to Stella, they go beyond sexy. Like, because I know the others, they do do sexy, but they don't go too much. They just do it simple. But it's simple at the same time. It's cute and sexy. Some of them are cute and sexy, but some of them just sexy but classy. And this one was overly sexy. I actually sent the the MV to my friend, and hear what he say. Like, and he even saw Marionette. So his mind, his poor soul was literally destroyed thanks to me for sending it to him. For those who have WhatsApp, that's where I sent it to him. I went to YouTube on my phone, on this little phone here, and shared it to him on, on, on WhatsApp. And, yeah. And that's how he found out about the star. I mean, Stellar. Okay. Hold on. Let me just read you one of the one of the comments. No lie, this is true. True story.
Okay, he said, the way he, he um, replied after he saw the video, he said, that, vide that video, Jesus effing Christ, man. All you see is a lot of faces of hearts in his eyes and a lot of flags, of a lot of Korean flags, South Korean flags. And then he said, no lie, this is what he said, as clear as that I read long, you hear as clear as day what he say about the group. I watched the next one when she, when she's in the bath with milk spilling, spilting from her mouth on her breast and naked in the bath. A lot of love hearts. Right. <laughs> True story. And he shared it. Of course, he bloody shared the video. Marionette. So, with that said, when it comes to sexy, my friend literally goes to another world. If you, if I recall, if you remember my friend, he was the one who, who was with me on the other house, with the other old couch, and he, we, me and him, I kind of re-reacted to AOA's Lucky Cat, because I didn't get to react to it, but I'd seen the MV. But, 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 I showed it to him on a very special reaction, and his life was literally, hoo hoo, yeah. <laughs> it went to another world, basically. Uh, it's funny, funny story. It was the funniest reaction. I wanted to see it because I know what he's like when it comes to Asian women. He loves Asian women. He says he always dreams. He calls them dreamies. So, girls, you have a, f a for for those who are Asian, you have literally. A fan name by my friend. So you're known as Dreamies. Like, when you're dreaming, like dream, Dreamies. With an I-E-S in the end. So that's what he said. Um, I really at the MV. I'm worried that this song is going to be banned. Not because of the song, but because of the choreo. And the outfit. Whoa! The choreo, woo! But hey, you know what? They were brave. I really like these groups. They're so brave. They're worth the risk. They risk their own lives. They don't care. Because what I realized is that when it comes to cute, dude, they're not really popular. But when it comes to sexy, they're really popular. Being sexy, and it really suits the group. I mean, it really suits them so well in many in many ways as possible. And, you know, even though um, I even downloaded the song like a year ago, Marionette, I might download this one because the song is really catchy. And apart from the choreo, choreo and outfit and image, apart because they all look really good. Um, okay, uh, what's the name? The song. I don't know if it's me. But it had that really 70s disco style, like Donna Summer. I don't know why. I don't know why I think that. But isn't isn't a good way, not in a bad way. I know some people will say you're saying a bad way. No, it's a really good way that they had that kind of Donna Summer kind of disco kind of feel to it, like the 70s going back in time. I felt like it just took me back in time. I know, although the choreo has nothing to do to the nothing to do with the sound of the song but it kind of works because it's sexy but yes I love the group I love the image I love how they look they look flawless they look really sexy like I'm jealous my friend would say the opposite that he would F every single one of them and have babies with them and ev marry every single one of them basically but whereas with me, I feel jealous because their body looks amazing. They, they, the way they move is just. I wouldn't move like that because I'm easily embarrassed. I'm not used to doing that kind of movement, and that's because I'm a dancer. It's funny, funny that, funny story. I'm a dancer, but, and an actress and a singer, but I don't sing. In front of people because I'm shy, <laughs> but I do try one day. When I have a group. <laughs> um, with that said, um, yeah, they they really looked so fit, not in a sexual way. Because when we say the word fit, 
guys here in the UK take it the wrong way, they might think I'm a lesbian, which I am not. When I mean fit, I mean they look physically in good shape, basically. That's what I mean. But in the UK, fit. If you hear the word fit, they if you say if a guy say a girl's fit, it's because he likes her. He wants to have babies with her. Uh and that's yeah. For those who are American, probably you don't see those words. Only in the UK we use it. It's weird. But we do use that word for for a different different meaning to it. But what I'm saying the original version to it, which is fitness, like, you know, looking after in themselves and you know that Korea do have that kind of thing, that regime. I know some of them do go too far, but some of them just <coughs> do the right way. But anyways, with that said, I give the whole thing 10 out of 10 because they looked so good. The choreo was sexy as hell. It really fit the song. The song was really good. The props were interesting. Like, how is a bag opening the bag being sexual, like being sexy? I'm like, I kind of looked at yeah. I'm like, probably for some people that it looks weird. It's like, mm, not really. But I kind of stare at the bag like, kind of confused. But say, what, what does that mean? It has to have a meaning to it. But with that said, that is all. I really love this song. This group is going to be known to be the overly sexy groups. Like, over. Like, over the hedge. Like, they just jump off the fence to the next side, to the other side, and risks. Yes. They risk it. And, I, and it, was, it was a big risk. I mean, I think it's a big risk they're doing it. But, if it's marketing and good marketing around around the world and they right like it, that's good then. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry guys. And that is all you guys. Please remember to subscribe my channel, like this video, share this video and yeah. <laughs> so I have now a new social media guys. Yay. So um, for those who are know from my old social media such as Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and MySpace, I have a fifth new one called Snapchat. Woohoo! I got, I do have it, I just don't know how to use it. Now we have it on the on the thing. Tablet. I can use it actively now. And it'll be awesome. Anyways, uh, with those who and also I've got two um, fan pages which is Anna Jane Palencia, which is me. My YouTube YouTube um fan page you see a picture of me uh the other one is the the web series project for those who want to be part of a film crew filming crew so yeah you're more than welcome to find me on to like the fan page and also for those who want to be part of a filming crew or like you know i don't want to explain so much but you know when people as come as a group like as a crew crew like 100% crew, like as if a pirates have a lot of people that are called crews. That, um, please follow me or add me on chaney.com, hive.co.uk, and also on linkedin.com. You'll find me, you'll search for me, you'll just find me as Amma Jane Palencia. And for those who like stories, yes, please remember to. Follow me on Wattpad, DeviantArt and Asian Fanfics and this month, I'm not sure that of the, what day it is, that is the last day of of this month, the date of the last, the Watties Award 2015, so I don't know when is the, uh, what's that word, I always forget words, it's so bad, damn. the end of date of it so the expiry the expiry of the date so please remember to vote like read my stories vote for my stories and also comment on my stories so yes and if there's any requests please remember to send me a message on my profile on on my um 
what's it called um, on Wattpad so I'm more than welcome to respond as quick as I can because I'm always welcoming with open arms with my beautiful people around the world thank you so that is all you guys Annyeong everyone and Salangkei